I did good to get here today. Man, it was raining like I'll get out this morning. My air went off on our side of the house during the night, so I was not a happy camper. What happened? Blow a fuse? I don't know. That, I have three units, and that unit, they're trained, so they should never, they should be good work. But I've had trouble since we put that one in. We so far hadn't had to pay anything because it's still been on uh, everything under warranty. But anyway, the guy should be there today. Okay. Now we're good. Good? I'm on. You're live? Are you live? I'm on. I'm on. <clears throat> we ready? Ready. Three, two, you ready, Keith? Yes, sir. Three, yeah. two, one. Welcome to the second hour of Real Estate Talk. This is the Floors to Go show. And I'll tell you, remember this saying, a room without a rug is like a kiss without a hug. You can go out to Floors to Go in Haltom City and get you an 8x10 rug. Live in the studio with me is what I call Floorpedia. Guys, forgotten more than I'll ever know when it comes to floors. Daryl Williams, how you doing, buddy? Very good, uh, Willie. Thanks for having me here. Nice to have you here this Saturday night. Also, Dan is in the studio, as always. You know, Daryl, last week we had Kermit Walker on, and he pointed out the three main features about flooring and I want you to expand on that and and you, because you gave me a lot of information off air and just take it from where Kermit Walker left off. Okay for the uh, folks listening to us on the radio right now last week we had a certified flooring inspector on the show and um, he'd been in the industry for 50 years and been a certified foreign inspector for uh, the last eight years, uh, which is a certification process that's that they it's an education process they have to go through to look at floors. And he can represent a homeowner, he can re represent a manufacturer. And what was very interesting um, that we learned last week was that uh, insulation is 36 percent uh, of all the claims that he has looked at in the last eight years, 36 percent of the problems were installation related. And um, that doesn't matter carpet, hardwood, any of it, is that correct? That's correct. That's any any flooring that has to be have, require a, someone to install it, which is just about nearly every floor, mm -hmm. with the exception of a rug. Yeah. You don't really need an installer to install a rug, because it's just loose lay. So I, I got to really thinking about that, that if, if installation is 36%, of the, the problem when it comes to a floor failing for homeowners. <clears throat> we at Floors to Go Texas want to make sure, of course, that we're, we're doing the right thing when we install a product, but I'm really concerned about those uh, people who are not ab able to do business with us, and I just want to give them a little coaching and education about what they could do or look for. Coaching hour. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So what I'm talking about is I'm, I'm sort of pointed at <laughs> This guy we have uh, nicknamed Chuck in the truck, or someone who doesn't actually have a place of business they work out of. Not that they don't have to have a place of business to work out of for installation, because most installers don't. However, when a homeowner is looking uh, to hire someone, when they buy their material at place A, and they want to get an independent installer B, and put it in their house, equation part of the C, if you will, they, they need to think about some things. You know, they need, they need to get a referral from a friend or they need to get a referral from uh, people that have had him install flooring before. Yeah, they need, they need to check it out, not just, not just say, okay, come do my work. And, and, and the reason being, Theral, is because this industry is evolving. Technology is evolving. And what I've found is that a lot of times the installers it's a hand-me-down process. Skill set from grandpa to father to son. And in many cases, with the, the, the nice tile and stuff that we have uh, evolving in this industry, mm -hmm. those old skill sets do not apply to today. 
That's true, um, because there's a lot of training for installers today. We did talk about the Certified uh, Training uh, Institute that's located uh, in Forney, Texas around here. But at the same time, uh, I'm just encouraging homeowners to get referrals from these people, or from these people. Get, get a list of jobs that they've done completed, and then get, have the homeowner call these other homeowners that have had their product installed. And not just something that was installed last month, because mm -hmm. you know you need to ask the installer. Uh, you need to ask if something goes wrong uh, with the installation crew. You know what is, it, what is that crew going to do to make it right? Yeah, I 100% agree on that. And most of the mindset of a homeowner is, I'm going to get installed with X Y Z company. I'm going to buy a cheaper type product at one of the box stores. And here's, and tell me if I'm right, Thurl, but you think you're saving money now when you have to come back and redo it in three years. Uh, you really hadn't saved anything. Uh, no, that's exactly right. As a matter of fact, I hear one of my competitors on the radio talking about uh, high-tech bathroom uh, installations today. And uh, he really has a big ad for uh, not using any more uh, uh, cement grout. And uh, he yes. says, I, suge I suggest that if you have your tile installed by somebody that's using regular cement grout, I suggest that you just go ahead and save up to have your shower redone because it's going to fail in a very short period of time. Yeah. In case you're wondering, this, this hour is brought to you by Floors to Go. It's called the Texas Show. This is Floors to Go in Halton City, 5212 Airport Freeway. You can reach out to them directly at 817 710-7030-817-710-7030. If you want to email Farrell directly and get some of these questions that we may bring to your foresight uh, answer, you can email him at radio at floors to go texas.com. <laughs> Farrell, that's such good advice because uh, People act off of emotion. And, you know, when you're getting to put a new shower in or a new bathroom or a new kitchen, uh, the one thing that this show is all about is do it and do it right so you don't have to come back and do it again. Yeah, it might look pretty for a while, but a couple of years down the road, or even six months down the road, we've heard of them. Well, why is my grout black? Yes. Well, it, it's you're leaking. That's because you use thin set. <laughs> You don't use the right material for the job, yeah. Yeah, yeah could, have, could, have, could have been a result of lack of uh, waterproofing or whatever, just depending on what the product is. But our concerns are is that, uh, you know, homeowners should check out these guys mm -hmm. and uh, not, just get, not just get them because somebody recommends them. Check their references, as, as uh, mm -hmm. Dan was saying. You know, you know, another thing is you might ask these guys if they carry insurance. Mm -hmm. There's one in a hundred installers carry insurance to walk in somebody's home in case they damage something, they hit a pipe, pipe bursts, floods their house. I, I, oh, that's I, easy I'm not to do, too. I'm not making this up. In my house, we hit a pipe. It, it's, and I mean, that water just... And, and you know, you got to know, are these people responsible enough? We're going to take care of the damage. Mm -hmm. Here's what you ask a, a, um, an installer. If they do have insurance, they can very easily make you the additional insured on their policy. That's correct. Call, mm -hmm. they, they call up their insurance carrier, give them the address, mm -hmm. and make you the additional insurance uh, carrier on that policy while the job's going on. That's a sure way. I want to make sure that I welcome all of our Facebook um, uh, Facebookers. Uh, ask any questions you may have. We'll answer those during the break. So carry on, Mr. Thurl. Well, uh, <clears throat> Here's, here's a couple of things to think about because uh, some of the biggest failures are in the area of installation of wood and in the installation of ceramic tile. And one of the things that homeowners don't realize is that uh, Kermit was in, encouraging us to yeah. get the homeowners to read the instructions. <laughs> now, every box has a set of instructions in it. Uh -huh. Every bucket of glue has instructions on it. I mean... And, and the homeowner should read them, and the installer should read them, because it might not be exactly how he's used to doing it. Yes. Now, I do understand that a homeowner should should say, why should I read these if I'm going to hire a professional? 
Well, uh, my son has a, a, a really good saying, professional is a relative term. Professional as to what, where, you know, do they have professional credentials? What makes them a professional? Just the fact that they do it every day? Because we have, we have clearly seen in this industry, even when I've either tried to hire guys or interview guys, they've clearly been doing something for 10, 15 years, but they clearly have been doing it the wrong way when I begin to ask them critical questions. So just because they call themselves a professional doesn't actually make them one. I got to go to break. Um, if you're just joining us, this is the Floor to Go Texas show. We encourage you to ask questions on Facebook. You can also reach out to them directly at 817 710 7030. Again, 817 710 7030 or radio at floors to go Daryl, when we come back, you know, these questions you ask guys uh, that clearly prove that they've been doing the good old boy way. Can we kind of talk about some of that when we come back? Absolutely. I, I want to give the homeowners some questions they can ask these guys. Yeah, stick around. We'll be back in the skosh. What was that, 10? No. It was um, 11 minutes, I think. 10, 11. Let's just say something. I, I didn't get my button pushed as fast okay. as what it was talking about. Um, any Facebookers we need to address? None that I'm getting on this little thing. Well, we've got like They're out there listening. Views. They just need to log in and say hi. Hello. Well, you, you could mention that you had a visitor that found you in Idaho. Uh, if you want to share that story. And or the uh, DFW investors that called you up this week. What happened? Say that they regularly, you could tell... Willie, the story here before you share it. <clears throat> uh, well, actually, uh, two, two separate stories. One is a lady called in on the phone and she starts asking me questions about some flooring. And I, and I said, how did you hear about me? And I didn't really look at her caller ID. And she says, well, I, I heard you on the radio. I said, okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then she starts talking and asking questions and I, I finally get around to ask ma'am where do you live she goes i live in idaho <laughs> <laughs> and we're sure glad she's listening out there and That's i'm sure wonderful. glad she's listening i said i kind of thought i knew the answer but i thought i'd go ahead and ask a logical question how did you get us on the radio in idaho and she said i heart radio which you can do you can listen anywhere on iHeartRadio, radio which that's good news yeah and so i just thought it was very interesting that she says yeah, I know you're not going to be able to do this job, but I just want some information. I just want to know, get some knowledge about what's going on here. And so I was glad to help her. I wasn't, just because I found out she was in Idaho, I didn't stop and say, oh, well, I, I don't want to help you because I, there's no future in it. I, I'm, my desire is to help people, period. The other, uh, the other story is technically the, um, the DFW home investor was one that I met at your function. Okay, out here in Plano-ish area where we were that night, we, we were all screaming and hollering this far away. Yeah, <laughs> which it was a good event. I just couldn't didn't get to meet enough people. Uh -huh. And this couple that we met uh, called me uh, on Thursday. Said, "Hey, we want to come in on Friday." They were they were there on Friday, and we began to talk and visit and everything. And uh, I began to ask them questions about what they were doing. And he says, uh, "Daryl, I heard you mention on the radio." about this and that, about waterproofing for showers. And uh, he even mentioned Tim's name, ah. the Mapei mm -hmm. rep that we had on here. Mm -hmm. Very I said, knowledgeable I said, you listen to the program? He said, yes, I listen to all the real estate programs so I can increase my understanding of what's going on mm -hmm. so that when I come across a problem, I'll know what to do. Absolutely. Or at least know who to call. Or know, know who to call. And so, you know, they're flipping a house and they're going to let me help them do it. I thought that was kind of interesting. Cool. That just happened this past week. All right. We ready? Ready, yes. Tex? Ready. Three, two, one. Welcome back to the Floors to Go Texas show. We're honored and delighted you're joining us. This show is about educating you on anything to do with flooring uh, and how to do it the correct way. Live in the studio is Theral Williams, the founder of Floors to Go out in Haltom City, 5212 Airport Freeway. 
in Haltom City, Texas. Uh, 817-710-7030, Farrell. Yes, sir. So when you go to hire a guy, there is your knowledge in the industry. You ask them a bunch of questions. Let's share with our listener some of the things. And you, you guys can, uh, number one, you can put it, put it in your speed dial, uh, 817-710-7030, and then take notes on this. It'll help you on down the line. Well, first of all, when when a, when an installer comes into my place of business looking for work, referrals, and he wants me he wants me to hire him to do work because he's says he's a professional. I ask a series of questions. The first one I ask is, do they have insurance? That's the first one. I knew that. That's the first question I ask them <laughs> if they have insurance. Uh, believe it or not, some of these guys don't even have a business card. Yeah. If they don't think enough of their business to even buy a business card, I'm not really sure they're buying the right equipment. You know, and let's just say this guy comes in, he says, I can do uh, installation of uh, glue down engineered hardwood floors. I say, that's fine. Uh, do, you own, do you own a roller? Well, no, I, he says he, I, he doesn't own a roller. Mm -hmm. I said, well, all hardwood floors that are engineered that are glued down are required to have a 100-pound roller on them. So I usually push the reject button really fast. And another question that I ask them on hardwoods is, do you have any moisture meters? For testing the concrete and testing the hardwood. Remember last week when we were talking to Kermit Walker, he said that also was a big failure of either dealers or installers not checking the moisture in a concrete slab. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of a lot of our listeners have have a hard time understanding that concrete has moisture in it, but believe me, concrete has moisture in it to a certain percentage of relative humidity. And moisture will cause that floor over time to buckle. Correct? That's correct. It, it, it'll cause the product to misbehave is what I call it because it can either uh, if it gets too wet it's going to perform in a certain way. Right? Well, and if it's ceramic tile it'll absorb it and pop off the floor even. So water is not good. Moisture is not good. So you have to you have to ask them these some series of questions and, and of course that's just the beginning of a very long list. So, so insurance 100 pound mm -hmm. roller mm -hmm. And you got a moisture meter test. Yes, sir. The next one he likes to ask is, how do you how do you install a shower? And he's looking for waterproofing. Mm -hmm. What do you use? Yeah, I'm looking for these people to tell me <clears throat> that they use some kind of waterproofing during the process. And there's several different types you can use, but and they'll all work. It's just according to which one they prefer. Yeah, I've even had uh, installers show me photograph. I'll say, can you show me a mm -hmm. photograph of a shower that you've installed or one that's in progress? I'd rather see one in progress than one they finished mm -hmm. because you need to be concerned. People who are having showers installed in their house, ceramic tiles in their personal house, this is what's really, this is what's really critical and, and unfair if they don't do it right. It's not how pretty it looks when it's done. It's what's behind the tile. I agree. Because mm -hmm. it has to have some kind of moisture barrier behind the tile. And it's not just a cement board. The cement board, cement, cement board. Or a hardy board. Yeah. Hardy board, Dura Rock. There's, there's a number of them out there that have a cement mm -hmm. composition to them. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, the moisture can get down between the joints. Mm -hmm. And what do you do when, it, when, the joint, when the water gets between the joints? It's going to go into the cavity of the wall at mm -hmm. some point in time. And... And, and, and here comes the mole, here and, comes and the here rock. Comes the mole and the mildew and that sort of thing. And so in the future, you'll be pulling it off because of things misbehaving behind the tile. So I'll look and see if they have any jobs that have waterproofing on there. And, and, I can and tell it changes right away. colors. I mean, the, the waterproofing is a different color. So you yeah. know if they put it on yeah, there or not. Yeah, it's not just a cement color. It's what just, color does it change to? Well, Blue. depends on... Depends on what the product is they're buying. I mean, there, there's there's red colors out there, mm -hmm. there's blue colors out there, and Schluter is and Schluter is an orange yeah. product color product. So you can tell right away if if these guys know anything about waterproofing. If they don't, if an, if a tile ins, this is my warning for a homeowner. If the if the homeowner selects a tile setter that knows nothing about waterproofing mm -hmm. other than they say they use a cement board, that's that's red flag number one not to hire them. Uh, that is the old way. I mean, it was that's done. That's the old way. It was done for years and years and years. Grandfathers, uncles. That's the old way. But there's a new, better way of doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want your shower to last for more than ten years. 
And by doing mm -hmm. some of the new better practices, your shower is going to mm -hmm. last more than two years. Who, sure. Who wants to spend, you know, three thousand, four thousand, seven thousand dollars on a mm -hmm. shower? I mean, yeah. depending on if you're using marble, stone, whatever kind of uh, product, or a large process, and then have to redo it in three to eight, ten years from now. Nobody wants to do that. Yeah. I mean, and, mm -hmm. and, 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 and by not using the right products, you can very well have that happen to oh, you. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, because, yeah. because, you know, if you don't have enough repair material, you're just going to have to pull it all down and start over. Well, then there's an extra expense taking it all out sure. to mm -hmm. start all over. Well, yeah, it's and, and it's this, called labor. Well, yeah, well, yeah it calls, it's a mess, too. But <laughs> yeah. you, you can tell, we, we did a demonstration, and we rolled one of these waterproofing on a little box and held water in it for a while. Long, mm -hmm. long time. It mm -hmm. never, never, the water just stayed in there. It didn't leak. Just mm -hmm. so a cardboard box. It was. Yeah. And so I know it works. That was a good experiment. Yeah, so, you know, prepping the floor. Um, you know, homeowners should know, uh, homeowners should know that under wood and even ceramic tile, uh, that the paint that is overspray from the builder when the house was built has to be scraped off of the floor. You grind it off. If you, you either grind it off, mm -hmm. scrape it off, at some point that paint has to come off because if you don't, now your glue is trying to bond to paint and it will turn loose mm -hmm. once the moisture comes up through there. And yeah, and, and you can hear it. You can tap on that tile and if it sounds hollow, it's not glued down. Yeah, makes no. sense. Yeah. yeah. So th there's a lot of things to look for when you're hiring an installer. Of course, our answer to that is coming by, if you want to buy flooring products from us and save some money, I understand that. But let us give you coaching on the kind of guy you should hire. If you want to hire your own guy, let me talk to him. I'll, I'll, I'll find out what he knows and what he doesn't know real fast. Or we can do the full service install and we are gonna we're going to guarantee everything we do. Here's how you do that. You reach out to them at 817-710-7030. Again, 817-710-7030. I'll give you two. You go to their, see the products they have. They get 10 times more than the box stores on our display. You go check out www.floorstogotexas.com. Or if you have questions for Theral, radio at floorstogotexas.com is, is his email. So carry on, friend. Okay. Uh, one other product that's very, very popular today is uh, LVT, which stands for Luxury Vinyl Tile or Resilient Vinyl Tile. And that product today is kind of taking the market by storm where Laminate did uh, 20, 25 years ago because it is, it's, it's touted and billed uh, by the manufacturer as being uh, waterproof. Childproof, pet-proof, <laughs> it's it's great product. And, and it comes in various forms. It comes in glue down. It comes in uh, clicking together. Which we call a floating floor. Or a floating floor. So mm -hmm. there's a variety of, of ways to install that, but a lot of them are, are, are what we call a floating floor. And different manufacturers have different requirements of uh, how you treat the subfloor underneath. It, it still has to have a... A smooth surface or else you're going to feel a few little bumps but at the same time you have a water moisture issue that can come up uh, because we have some manufacturers that say you don't have to put any plastic underneath mm -hmm. it we have some that say you do need to put plastic on it we have just gone to a personal company policy that we're going to put six mil poly plastic under everything all floating floors all for, under all floating floors yeah if it's a if it's a floating floor we're going to put a six mile poly plastic underneath and it. it's a cheap cheap uh way of making sure no moisture no moisture, no moisture. Mm -hmm. now what's interesting was i was talking to an expert in this field of moisture just this morning before coming to do the recording is that uh he he brought up because i i asked him about this policy that I've just created here a couple of weeks ago of establishing that we're going to put plastic under all floating floors to protect the homeowner and ourselves uh, from mm -hmm. some kind of a failure. He was telling me that uh, there's a couple of manufacturers out there under these floating floors that uh, they are recommending some, some, some plastic and there's some that aren't rep or are not suggesting plastic, but at some point even though they even though they tell you the manufacturer tells you that it's a waterproof floor 
they all start walking away from a claim when it reaches 85% relative humidity. Now, a, a normal homeowner can't do a relative humidity test on a concrete slab because it's a very involved process. You, you end up having to drill holes in your slab. You have to have special testing equipment, which that's what Kermit has. Um, we were right. talking about last week. And uh, when we have to drill holes on commercial projects, I actually hire an independent third-party uh, testing mm -hmm. company so that the responsibility is on that testing company to make sure that slab I'm about to cover up is, is approved. And if it's above 85% relative, relative humidity, there are uh, mitigation choices you have to go up to 95% mm -hmm. uh, relative humidity. That gets a little complicated, but just know that if people are buying products from us, from floors to go, that we will be able to make sure that we do the, all the moisture checking that's available. Get in touch with them at 817-710-7030 or email radio at floors to go texascom I've got to go to break. When we come back, you want to know about the 60-day guarantee? We're going to tell you all about it. Uh, our friends at floors to go in Haltom City, 5212 Airport Freeway. You get to know them. Put this number on your speed dial, 817 817- 710-7030. We'll be back in a will it's coach. We went 12 minutes. <laughs> Did we go too long there, Keith? <laughs> uh, about 12. Yeah, y'all could do shorter ones. Well, this last one we can do shorter. Yeah, you did the but, last but segment. But see, short. that six mils, I think that's yeah, going to be a great <coughs> policy. I think it's it's a, it's it's going to, somewhere down the line, it's going to save us. Do you remember Brian Caponosi? Uh, He's the husband to the Campanozzi. Uh, By the way, the show is going to play on Sunday from 10 to 11. Okay, okay great. Uh, if I don't get bucked off. This chair does the same thing. I'm holding on. Anyway, he was the one that called me on the phone today. Oh, really? We were having this. He, he calls me periodically and says, hey, Terrell, because he's the one that sells that Versus Shield product. Okay. So when I, I bought the Versus Shield product mm -hmm. uh, for the church. Uh, South Tough Baptist Church that had a problem, serious problem in our offices. And uh, I used that to cure the problem with mm -hmm. because it was a superior 95% relative humidity mm -hmm. moisture block. But he was the one that was telling me that some of these manufacturers will walk away if they go, if they go backwards and do a test at 85% relative humidity. Or, as Kermit was saying, say for example, we test the concrete ahead of time. If we have a test in there that, that registers above 85%, we still go ahead and cover it. The, the manufacturer, if there's a problem, will begin to walk away from it. Because he's, yeah. he's asked some of those hard questions. The yeah, actual, technical do, department. Any uh, Facebook? Ish, uh, no questions. Don't, no questions. What is this pen going but, on here? I think uh, the, the fun part that you, that you might have left out on the, uh, interviewing the installers is uh, checking their truck out. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I oh, wanted to yeah. try and interrupt in there. I'm it's kind sorry. of a funny moment, but it's also a, a pretty mm -hmm. in your face. Yeah, well, if they pull up in a, in a car, how the heck are they supposed to get all that material to you? How do they have that stretcher or levels or anything uh, else? It, well, people may not know that kind of stuff, but they can mm -hmm. definitely relate to the installers sure. you've seen. Yeah, it goes, it's car. called a gut feeling. Mm -hmm. and, and, and then, oh, by the way, now how is that customer supposed to get that product over there in their place? Yeah. You know, to, to yeah. remind them, hey, you, you bought some stone from me. Mm -hmm. It's probably going to weigh about 2,500, 5,000 pounds. How are you going to get home? Mm -hmm. We can always deliver it there, but then that's an extra cost. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. However you yeah, want yeah, to play yeah. it, but no, you, no, no, checking you're, out you're a truck right. is a pretty awesome thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because most professionals have good equipment to work out of. Mm -hmm. They yeah. usually have more good equipment. It, it could be an older truck, but it, it can, can be just, an older it can truck, be a, yeah. something that's adequate to handle well, what they're doing. I saw another video thing. this weekend mm -hmm. on uh, evaluating builders, and they... They went through a number of things, but at the literally at the very beginning of the of the video, they said there's only one thing that everybody knows how to judge a builder on: how clean his work site is. Oh, big yeah, yeah, buddy. And, and, uh, I mean, now they were talking about oh some builders, but Any there is a persona that's there. You know, Absolutely. you're getting this uh, tile sitter that you know has just got beat up everything. You know, does that say anything about his that work? Says something about his work. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it'll yeah. be the one occasion where it doesn't. There's exception to every rule, but I agree with that. Yeah, that job yeah. site needs to be cleaned every evening. Uh, of of, of all the of all the commercial work I've done, 
I've only worked for a one general contractor that had a big sign that says, you will clean up after yourself mm -hmm. every day. But if you don't, I will, and I charge mm -hmm. $200 an hour. Mm -hmm. So if you were on the job, he makes a list of everybody that was on the job site that day. He charges each one of them. Perfect. Bucks. That makes idea. the morning stuff <laughs> easier. Yeah. Well, because you can trip over stuff. Yep. You can, somebody get a nail on the foot. Somebody can throw something away that wasn't supposed to have been yep. thrown away, you know, wh whatever. Yeah, exactly. And so it's just a, it, it's a part of, it's a part of a safety practice, really, when you, if you will. And because it, it, things can get kind of junky. Yeah, oh, can. they can get more than kind of junky. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, we talked about it on the show yeah. before of accidentally having a subcontractor come and put in a waterproofing in a shower, and then another electrician comes in and drops a whole bunch of stuff on that thing, and you get little pinholes, and then it's no longer waterproof. You know, there's a, a Fort Worth kind of has this issue that in order to get a part of their inspection, the pan has to be on as they're installing uh, when the plumber the when the when the when the, the drain. Uh, when the drain drain is done by the plumber they have to have the the vinyl liner installed at that time. Well, that's actually before the sheetrock goes up. Can you imagine all the sheetrockers stepping on that vinyl liner? Yeah. Unless unless the builder makes an exceptional heroic effort to it's protect to protect it and cover it up, mm -hmm. that thing's going to get drywall screws, nails, whatever. Any open pipe. How many times have you seen the the commode pipes and they get full of junk because it's not covered up? Yeah. yeah you need to clean up. Yeah. That's a that, big one. That, you know, that sounds like a crazy deal, but... It's a big we, one. We used to get accused, this was years ago before I had my own company, We got I got accused many times of my tile setter clogging up a drain because mm -hmm. he washed his grout or he washed his setting material down the, the, the stinky drain. And it was... It was, uh, first of all, it was infuriating for him to insinuate that my guys did that. Number two, if I found they were going to do it, if they did that, I could prove they did it, well, they never worked for me again. However, mm -hmm. I went to the policy of you will put duct tape on the drain when oh, you start working. Does Juan does it on everything. You put, I mean, duct, you put duct tape on the drain before you ever yep. get started, and you, you don't pull it off. You let you let uh, the homeowner or somebody else pull it off. Mm -hmm. Just So it's a fact, you know. If you want to test the drain, run water through it, make sure it drains, put the duct tape mm -hmm. back. <laughs> there you go. Let, right. let, let somebody else pull the duct tape off. All right, guys, you ready? We're down to like wood failures, I believe. Well, we talked a little bit about that. We, we're going to well, talk we about did, he just we, said we're going to talk about the 60 day guarantee. Well, we didn't talk about. You, you can pick up. I, I think we ought to talk. Wood, as far as. The, the the homeowner needs to look at it before you start installing it. Everybody needs to look at All right, it. Let's that's, just, a, let's that's, just, that's a good idea. Here's a suggestion. Start with the 60-day guarantee, and then would mm -hmm. that include wood failures? Would that include ceramic tile failures? And that, I mean, that's a question that Willie could ask you. You ready? Just sure. a suggestion. Three, two, one. Welcome back to the Floors to Go Texas show. As a reminder, put this in your speed dial, 817-710-7030. Again, 817-710-7030. Very handy number to have uh, in your phone. Now, Farrell, we got a few things we got to touch up on. Uh, but the 60-day guarantee, talk to me about that. And does that cover... <laughs> Uh, what does it and doesn't cover? Okay, the the initial sixty day guarantee. Uh, this just comes from your show, with, from your store. This comes from Floors to Go, Texas. That's correct. Sixty day guarantee says basically, in a nutshell, is that if you're unhappy with your floor in any way, uh, we'll replace it. Now, there there is a little bit of fine print. It has to have a Floors to Go label on it. I sell a lot of products in my store. We have a lot of Floors to Go label products. And the ceramic tiles guarantee, the woods guarantee, they pay for the labor up and down. And mm -hmm. they pay for the, t the tile labor up and down. The, the Technically, the carpet, um, they pay for the carpet and moving the furniture, uh, but they will not pay for the installation of the labor. So it's on the homeowner to make that decision. Mm -hmm. uh, all they would be out is the labor to do it again on the carpet only. But it is a guarantee that if we, if they have selected the wrong color, let's just use that as the best example. If they say I've, I've selected a carpet that's, that's too light, 
weight or, or too light in color, I want a darker color, then we'll replace it. If they say the same thing about a wood floor, it's lighter or it's darker than I wanted, I wanted a lighter one. So But they replace it they replace it with the same with the cost. same light kind of product. Yeah, yeah let's just yeah, it, it would be replaced with the same exact type product. If they wanna if they wanted to downgrade there'd be a credit coming back. If they wanted to upgrade there'd have to be more in there. But here's what we recommend to people. Let's just say they buy wood from us or ceramic tile. Now on wood, most wood, with the exception of about two manufacturers we have, requires an acclimation period. Uh, in that acclimation period, we deliver the, the wood to the job site uh, in advance 24 to 48 hours. And our part of our instructions to homeowners are, are just this. Take a box, take two boxes, open it up lay them all out. Make sure this wood looks like you thought it was going to look. Because mm -hmm. now's the time. Now is the time. You know, they can have, they can come back to the store and get our sample, mm -hmm. compare it. Uh, it, it's, it better match. If it doesn't match to what they think it is, uh, here, here's a problem with, with the industry. Any, any, this can happen to any store. We have these samples that are maybe two foot by three foot. In some cases, they might be two foot by four foot. But on a, on a natural hardwood floor, depending on the species, that can't always represent every board in the box. Mm -hmm. Every knot, every scrape, every... Yeah. And they, they could be different colors. They uh, do a very good job of trying to give you a variety of in the little sample that you get. And this can be from me or any of my competitors. I'm just saying this about the industry. So that's a good time for the homeowner. Say you bought your wood floor from somebody else and you're hearing this program for the first time. Open up the box, maybe even two boxes, and just dry fit all the pieces together. Mm -hmm. When you do that, now you're going to get an idea of what it looks like. It's in your house, and you've got your own lighting there, and you've got 48, 24 to 48 hours to actually kind of look at it. And if you think there's something wrong, you need to say something at that particular point and, and say, well, wait a minute, this yeah. thing's got more knots than I thought it was. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's got more variation. But you see, at Floors to Go, since we educate you on what you're buying, we'll try to explain to you that a maple floor has less variation than a hickory floor. Mm -hmm. I mean, a hickory floor is the extreme mm -hmm. opposite of maple. Maple is very consistent, and unless you get a certain grade of maple. Mm -hmm. The hickory floor has so much extreme that even in the same board, it can change from light to dark in the same exact board. Mm -hmm. So you have a lot of variation there. Uh, even oak floors have a variation, but it's not quite as radical as hickory is. Yeah, but some of the new styles have lots of variation. That is correct. That's the, what the floor is supposed to look like. Right, so that's always a really good idea. And, and Kermit, uh, our certified flooring inspector last week, <clears throat> was also recommending that people take the tile, get a box of tile. We're not going to deliver the tile early to the house, but we could give you a box ahead of time. You could take a box home, open it up, look at it, make sure it's... It's, it, it looks the way you thought it was going to look, and especially for homeowners who are buying their material one place and getting an installer to install it from somebody else. Lay, dry, dry lay the tile out. Try lay a couple of boxes out. Make sure the tile's all the same size. Yeah. Here's what a lot of people don't understand is that tile can be a different size from box to box mm -hmm. if the caliber is not the same. And that's a whole other uh, uh, you know, type of lesson, if you will. Well, which, sort of which leads me, Theral, uh, and Tech said this during the break, it's such a good common sense practice. When you're finding an installer, you know, the reason I have the guys that I have on my job is I noticed in the very beginning their trucks were clean, their equipment was clean, and so I assumed, although you're not supposed to assume things, I assumed that their work would be clean. And it is, but how important is it, having been in the industry as long as you have, that when you're asking a guy, do you have a 100-pound roller? Do you have a moisture tester? Um, do you have a power stretcher? Um, that he has the ability to haul that equipment to the job? Here's another thing. When you sell a job, those boxes of tile weigh a ton. You're not going to be able to put it in the back of your Lexus. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how important is that? Well, it's very important. And, and you know, a lot of people, a lot of times people, you know, you, you can you can buy tile online. You can buy wood online. But the problem is if you're buying 
500 feet, 1,000 feet, 1,500 square feet, you're going to need a heavy-duty truck to haul that. And well, they need to check that shipping cost, too. Sometimes they think, wow, this is cheap. But the time you add the shipping on there, it's mm -hmm. more than they could come down yeah. and buy it from us. Yeah, tile is even heavier than wood. And, uh, <clears throat> and it, it gets, I mean, each box of t ceramic tile can weigh between 60 and 75 pounds a piece, just one yes. box. Yes. yes, And so, yeah, you're not going to put that in your Lexus. No. <laughs> you're not even going to put it in a half-ton pickup truck. No. Uh, you, you're going to have to have a special trailer or extremely, you know, um, a, a work four, truck. Four ton yeah. rock work truck with daily wheels. Yeah, it just makes thing. common sense, you know, mm -hmm. that you do that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, those, those are some things to think about. Now, you know, when, when you when you do, when, when, when customers, when come, people come to see us, because we're interested in educating them, we're trying to add value to their purchase when they purchase through us. And so, a couple of things that we do, and we talked about this earlier, is that we do carry insurance. Full carry full line of uh, workman's comp and general liability insurance, and we also uh, make sure the customer is educated on what they're buying. If they're buying wood, we try to tell explain to them everything there is to know about wood, and we ask a lot of questions so that we can get the right product fit in there. Because like earlier, we don't want we don't want to deliver the wood to the job site and people open up the box and go, "This is not what I was expecting at all." Yeah. Our training and our teaching they should expect. Uh, something you know when they get it there it should not nothing sh there should not be a surprise but it's still our checkpoint for that also one of the things that we do is we use a program uh, to where we measure your house uh, with an iPad we generate a drawing of the house or the areas that you want us to estimate in and uh, most people don't have a drawing of their house no, and, and a lot of people when they see it they go oh I didn't think about having to do a seam that way or it just makes it, it, it makes sense to them when they see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can show you exactly where the seam placement is going to be on carpet. We can show you the direction the wood's going to be. Uh, we can show you how the layout is going to be on a, on a rectangular tile in the room mm -hmm. and let you have some decision uh, point in that. So Put this number in your speed dial. I recommend it if you're looking for any type of flooring, uh, remodeling your house, you name it, kitchens, bathrooms. Floors to go, Texas, over in Haltom City, 5212 Airport Freeway, 817-710-7000. Um, Again, 817-710-7030. You go to floors to go, Texas.com and check out their fantastic website. If you have a direct question via the e e internet and email, Radio at floors to go Texas.com. Radio at floors to go Texas.com. Mr. Theral Williams. Now, I got to go to break. When we come back, tease this up, Theral. Well, uh, I, I mean, we're going we're gonna to thank our, our, uh, our listening audience uh, for uh, staying with us. We're going to thank our friends for buying flooring from us. And, uh, We've got uh, some exciting things to share with you when you do buy purchase uh, floors from us. Yeah, don't forget to go over there and say a room without a rug is like a kiss without a hug. It's free 8x10 wool rug. Get your free rug. i got to go to break. We'll come back. More with Theral Williams. Okay, so what I want to do in this last segment is tell the people about this wool rug. Mm hmm well, that, that I also will give them a wool rug if they purchase $2,500 or more worth of flooring. Okay. We also need to say something. We've, we've been lax on our commercial jobs. We do, well, what would you think? 60%? Well, how much it's almost 50% of, of our business commercial, is commercial. Whether it be churches, schools, businesses, we, we do a lot of commercial. And I don't think we've stressed that enough lately. Yeah. yeah. No, you're right. You're right. That's a good point. So let's write that in there, huh? And there's, I bought the, all the different stuff there so we can look at. So how much do we have on our last segment? Uh, probably about nine. Nine. Over nine, yeah, because we've done, let me see this. Well, this one, you know what? You can uh, probably go squeeze it out to ten, I think, because uh, 37, ten and a half. Well, that one was long. <laughs> nine and a half. Nine and a half. <laughs> Let's say nine and a half. I have a feeling we'll go with ten. Nine and a half. 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 Nine and a half.
Nine. Definitely not over ten. Yeah, I think next time, under, under so 10. that I'm not looking down at my notes, I'm looking a little more at the camera. I think I'll put a little, a little blue, blue tape up there. Would that work? I don't know. I think that's aluminum. That works. Huh? Look at that. Mm -hmm. Kind of weak. Yeah. Okay. I'm just uh, working on the fly here. Just you are. <laughs> oh, but you had to sacrifice your name tag. <laughs> we can't have that. And you can't I pull know, it back off. I know who I am. It's quick. good. Here. We want everybody else to know who you are. Yeah. I put the name up there. Huh? So. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll just get a, I'll just get a little piece of tape here next time. We can tape will work. I was just a MacGyver and giving you my magnet. You are. That was MacGyver. <laughs> okay. You had five hours in that car yesterday. I was ready to stand up. Oh my God. I can still say well. We have right nine there. minutes to go, and you're gonna hook. It look, it looks great, little Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, Willie's got an advantage. He does. He's done radio so long. He just kind of talks and looks at us. <clears throat> and and even though I can think about it, I just want to make sure I'm following my my, my guideline here. Hey, I'm writing that notes I don't, for I don't you. Get off topic, because it's easy to get off topic. Yes, I mean, it is. Yes. Right, right Willie. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, we good. Oh, yeah. Three, two, one. Welcome back to our final segment of the Floors to Go Texas show. Never forget, you can get a, uh, a free rule rug by driving over and sitting down with Daryl and saying a room without a rug is like a kiss without a hug. Um, Daryl, you're big in educating and have done a fantastic job. And now you want to thank the folks that do business with you. Yeah, well, speaking of rugs, <clears throat> so uh, not only can people come over <laughs> and walk in the door if they don't feel stupid, <laughs> and we're not trying to make feel, people feel stupid, we're actually trying to find out if our advertising is working. Mm -hmm. If they say, if they walk in the door and say, hey, I heard on 5.70 a.m., uh, a room without a rug is like a kiss without a hug, I absolutely will give them a free 100% uh, wool rug. It's This is a thick wool rug. It's about an 80 ounce uh, woven wool rug and it's got carved border on the sides of it and we have a total of nine colors to select from. So this is not a cheese ball rug that you're going to get. However, uh, if they don't remember that or they don't hear the show, <laughs> I'd like for them to hear the show, but if if someone's doing business with us and they do $2,500 worth of business with us, we'll also give them that same rug for absolutely no charge. Because, you know, today when people put down mm -hmm. ceramic tile, porcelain tile, wood, it doesn't matter. Wood doesn't matter. Uh, they say, statistics say that within the next 30 days after they have that floor installed, they go out and buy a rug. Mm -hmm. Really? Yes, that's mm -hmm. right. And so we're going to give you one if you just buy a hard service floor from us. Well, not only that, we make area rugs, any size, any shape, any color. You know. Well, I did not know that. Yeah. So that you can get it to a custom size. Mm -hmm. And uh, sure, you can go buy you can go buy you can go out and buy rugs online. You can buy, go with different places and buy rugs, but they're always a specified size and color. You can come to our store mm -hmm. and pick out a what we call a broad loom, which means it's either 12 foot wide or 13 foot wide. And you can get the right color, the kind, right pattern, the right style. If you have or, a long hallway and you want the hall, you, you, you want hall. a runner done. Yeah, yeah we, we can, can do, do it. that. And it doesn't have to have a pattern in it. I'm just saying, mm -hmm. if it does, we can. We'll match the pattern and make sure it stays in the center of your your rug, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll do all that sort of thing uh, for for customers when they want. Uh, when they a room without right. a rug is like a kiss without a hug. Is all you got to say. Over at 5212 Airport Freeway in Halton City. Floors to go, Texas, 817-710-7030. Well, the other thing we're running right now special is um, uh, for those people who have bought from us and who are going to be buying from us, once they take photographs of their, uh, their installation and send them to us and we put them up on our Facebook page, the first customer to get 100 likes gets 100 bucks. Really? That's pretty simple, isn't it? I know it's pretty simple. All they have to do is 
sent us a photograph of their floor that they bought from us and either they installed or we installed doesn't make any difference and uh, once they tell their friends and we get 100 likes on our page on that item that we uploaded then they get 100, 100 bucks from us no questions asked man that's easy that's real easy. I can't participate, but it's real easy. <laughs> well, and if you don't like a Facebook post and you want a video of your place, 100 likes on a YouTube video will be fine as well. Oh, there you go. On YouTube as well. Mm -hmm. That's fine. So a lot of people don't know that we do, uh, about 50% of our work is actually commercial work mm -hmm. as well as residential. So we have a great big commercial library Huge. for carpet. Yeah, Huge. we've got probably over 1,500 books to choose from and hard, uh, 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 numerous, without counting, uh, hard surface uh, products to choose from for commercial use. That means that's the heavy duty uh, products. And, uh, and we can also have a color uh, dyed or made for a church or something that has a specific color that they want done. Awesome. We, we do that all the time. Yeah, and, and people may not know this, uh, we have uh, at least uh, two or three manufacturers that will custom color a carpet to go in your house mm -hmm. and they only need about 50 yards so that's that's like one big room mm -hmm. uh, living room or something mm -hmm. or maybe they have some bedrooms and they, they they shopped all over town and they can't find what they want we can actually get a custom color done mm -hmm. and all they have to do is bring us in a, a representative of what they want we send it off to the factory the factory uh, sends us uh, some some swatches back of color Mm -hmm. And it's for the customer's approval, and there's a, there's a process involved, uh, and a small fee for that. But it's not really outside the the margin of. Uh, and this is incredibly expensive to do this. It's mm -hmm. really it's all pretty relative actually, mm -hmm. and so it, it happens with some of the finer manufacturers that we have. So if mm -hmm. you're you know if you have that discriminating taste and color, we well, can handle that. Sure, and a lot of churches have all their different things match different things or match the floors and the carpet wears out well we can get it just exactly like it was awesome 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 i did not know that <laughs> yeah. um so uh, you know just uh, give us a chance here at force to go texas come by and see us uh, we're on airport freeway in fort worth haltom city area and uh, we'll be happy to uh, help you select teach you, educate you. If you don't know, we do budgets for people. We do budgets for companies uh, that, that, that need budgets done uh, so that you can get an estimate. Maybe you're not doing the project this week, next, this month. Maybe you want to do it in the fall. And maybe you want to know how much it is so that you can begin to save or put it the money aside. We can do that. We also have uh, something called Credit Connect to where uh, we can be very flexible on any kind of mm -hmm. payment schedule. Just can do simple, six, we simple can do process. Six months, same as cash. Twelve, yeah. same as cash. Uh, have a can, have we, a page they fill out. It's really yeah. It's a it's a it's a yeah. It's not even a full page. No. It's a it's a half page uh, uh, credit app. And, and it's it, instant. And we can we can get them approved uh, more than likely within just a few minutes. It is it is it is what they call WAC with approved credit, but they can get equal payments. They can get uh, just about anything that they need to fit their budget. Sure, sure. Yeah, and if people come in and ask for me, it just makes my day. It makes your day. <laughs> it does make my day. I <laughs> like to help people. Just to recap today, we covered about how to vet a, a installer, which is the most important part, in my opinion, of uh, installing your new shower, kitchen, bathroom, whatever the case may be. Um, and the questions that Farrell ask, you should know as a homeowner. For example, do you have a 100 pound roller? Do you have a, a moisture tester? Look at the installer's vehicle and make sure they take pride and ownership in the work that they do. All common sense things. Uh, you can always email Farrell directly at radio at floors to go texas.com they're at 5212 airport freeway in haltom city Daryl, any parting thoughts you know what uh we actually have just for coming and visiting our store we have uh what i'm holding here in my hand is a 25 dollars gift certificate for dalworth clean dalworth cleans anything in your house they clean 
carpet, they clean tile, they clean wood, they clean any kind drapes. of textiles, drapes, yeah. textiles, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and uh, we can, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 I mean, that's just a thank you to say thank you for coming by to see our, uh, our our showroom and meet us and give us an opportunity. That's absolutely free. That doesn't cost them a thing. And and, and Delworth does that for us because we're a member of something called My Flooring Warranty. When you buy carpet from us, they, they put you on a list. They help remind you to clean your carpet on regular intervals to keep it in warranty. And, and also it's spot and spill service for a year. They have a, they have a one year spot and spill service warranty that if you get something on your carpet you can't get it out. Awesome. I want to encourage you to like their Facebook page. Text that is Floors to Go Texas on, on Facebook. Yes, sir? Yes, sir. Okay, so I've come to the top of the hour. Uh, as always, I want to thank you, our listener, for joining us. I'm going to close this hour out by saying if you've been to the big box stores and done some shopping for flooring, think about what I'm about to tell you. Friends, Floors to Go Texas has twice the space and 10 times the choices and can beat any big box store's prices any day. Go see my friends at Floors to Go Texas, floorstogotexas.com or give them a call at 817 710 7030 again 817 710 7030 put it in the speed dial that's a wrap and i'm out we'll see you next saturday night